Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be painting monochrome galaxy with pine trees. So let's get started. For the materials, I'm using a round brush by Princeton. It's Velvet Touch round size 10. And for the paper, I'm using Fabriano Artistico. It's a 300 GSM 100% cotton paper. For paint, I'm choosing Pines Grey by Senelier and White Gouache by Winsor & Newton for the stars. Before we begin, it is important to understand the different tones and values that we can achieve with one single color. So practice this simple exercise before you start painting. I am using a hake brush to gently apply a light wash of water to the paper. If you don't have a hake brush, you can use any bigger size round or flat brush to do the same thing. I am using wet on wet technique here. Now I am taking pines grey and added little bit of water to get mid to light tone and gently dabbing the brush on the paper and spreading the paint. And it is important to start with a lighter value of color then you can add darker tones as we move on to the next layers. I am also intentionally leaving some white spaces in between this helps us in adding depth to the painting. I taped on all three sides using a masking tape. I also added one extra at the top so that the paper doesn't move while painting. All the materials that I am using are also mentioned in the description box down below. I am just blending and removing the excess paint that I have added here by mistake because we are going to add pine trees so the background has to be much lighter. Please remember that the watercolor paintings usually dry out a lot lighter than when they are wet, especially if you have more water in your paint mixture. The background painting is almost done. I'm just using a damp brush to soften the harder edges.
Once it is done, I am just going to use a heat gun to speed up the drying process. You can also use a hair dryer or let it air dry completely. Once the painting is completely dry, I am going to use Winsor & Newton white gouache to add the stars and also using a smaller round brush. I am just gently tapping on the brush to add the stars. You can also use another brush to do the same thing. This will give more scattered stars. Using a smaller brush, I am just adding some more stars wherever I feel it is necessary. And also going to add some details to create some shining stars. So once I finish adding all the stars, I'm moving on to painting pine trees and I'm starting here with a lighter hue of pine's grey. Background trees are usually lighter, faint and smaller in size. The trees that are closer to us can be more darker and slightly bigger. To paint the pine trees, I am first drawing a vertical line which doesn't have to be straight and then painting the branches by sweeping the brush slightly into a curve. Also increasing the size as I reach to the bottom creating almost an elongated triangle. It is completely ok if you don't get them right the first time and after some practice you will definitely get better. I am varying the sizes of the trees to make them look more natural. Once I finish painting the pine trees, I let the paint completely dry before peeling off the masking tape. Now this step is completely optional but if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I love to add gold details to most of my paintings but you can totally skip it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more such videos and you can also follow me on Instagram for more updates. See you next time. Until then, happy painting. Bye.